Hello, everyone. We are busy preparing for the start of the fall semester and welcoming new faculty, new instructors, and of course, new students to Brock. This includes CPI's new faculty orientation events that took place earlier this month, as well as the new university-wide new faculty orientation that's planned for August 29th. We will also welcome our instructors and graduate students to our annual teaching day on September 7th. This is the event that was formerly known as TA Day, but last year was expanded to include new instructors as well. Now, one of the things you will notice this year is CPI's focus on supporting you when it comes to assessment. We know full well how much of a pain point this has been for faculty in recent years. And even though we're no longer in a period of forced uh, remote emergency teaching, the latest wave of change we are all, of course, understanding and seeking to address is the advent of generative artificial intelligence and its various implications for teaching and learning. Now, over the past few weeks, I have been meeting with the Provost's Advisory Group on Artificial Intelligence, which continues to inform the guidance that CPI has been providing for Brock's instructors. I especially urge you to look at the webpage that CPI has published that provides tips on how to design assessments that mitigate the use of AI writing tools. But beyond the question of generative AI, I'm also happy to share that we are planning a webinar series this year. It's focused very much on assessment. The series, which has the support of our deans as well, will include three webinars during each of the fall and winter terms. Now, each webinar will feature an educator, often an external expert, with deep expertise in a specific area of assessment. This includes topics such as assessment for writing intensive courses or assessment for blended and online courses, both of which we have planned for later this fall. Now, please do note the dates and times of these events in your, in your calendars. We would love to see you there, of course, in person, even to participate in some of the discussion that follows the expert presentations. Uh, but we will, of course, also ensure that the recordings of the event will be made available to everybody afterwards as well. Finally, I do want to extend my thanks to the many programs and departments that continue to reach out to CPI to request consultations from uh, everything to do with the use of Brightspace to the design of new learning activities and assessments. This is, of course, a very important part of CPI's role. It is an area where our team has great expertise. So please do reach out uh, as needed as you plan your courses for the fall and beyond. That's it for me, uh, from me for now. Uh, I hope to see more of you in person in the coming weeks, whether at CPI's various events or indeed at Badger Fest. Uh, but until then, I wish you a wonderful remainder of the summer. Thank you.